Good evening, or good day. It all depends, and welcome back to the Impossible Iron Man channel. Today I have for you a showcase of the new Lamette Carbine. Unique to the Devil's Moon event, I was finally able to unlock it and take it for a spin for a few matches. And personally, I was not disappointed. I was a bit skeptical leading up to its unlock after some of the mixed reviews I had heard from other content creators. And while I don't disagree with some of the points that were made about it, I believe there's a lot of meta bias applied to the usage of the gun. And I'll explain more about what I mean with that at the end of the video when I do more of an in-depth breakdown. Now, as for how I prefer to use the carbine, I went with FMJ on the primary, less damage fall off and penetration power closer to that of long ammo, and I used slugs on the shotgun mode. Now, the devs described the power of the shotgun and the carbine to being equivalent to that of a Caldwell rival. And as anyone with experience on a rival with slugs knows, they call it the Nitro Mini for good reason, so I definitely wasn't disappointed with the power level here. In addition, as a secondary, I decided to use a quartermaster loadout with dual Lamats with the same custom ammo for ammo stacking. This allowed me to have 54 reserve in the primary, and about 7 or 8 slugs in the secondary. And I definitely put all of that ammunition to good use throughout this match. After talking with some other players and content creators, I decided that the optimal pairing with the Lamette Carbine is something that can supplement the close range. While you could go the route of using something like an uppercut as a secondary or a quartermaster with an obrez to compensate for the long range, personally I think this is the wrong approach. Again, I'll go into more detail about that later, but using it to its full strength, I think something to supplement the close range is better. Because even using slugs, while well, most of the time you're probably going to one-tap whatever's in front of you with it, it is only one shot. So if there's more than one person you're dealing with, or you happen to hit, say, an arm shot or something like that, or you're using something like buckshot instead of slugs, since slugs are expensive, I get it, then you need something to be able to finish the job. And I think something like dualies, a hand cannon even a bow, or, without Quartermaster, something like fanning on a secondary, just to help seal the deal. I think it's the best approach personally, and I think I also do a good demonstration of this here. We'll do a more in-depth breakdown later, but for now, remember that trap I placed on the bridge at the beginning? Well, it certainly leads to some interesting exchanges. Enjoy the match.
The Lamat Carbine is a real joy to use at medium to close range. It has a decent ammo pool, even without stacking, and the mode swapping makes fighting multiple targets up close a lot more fluid, better than quick swapping, and it pairs well with a lot of secondary weapon options. Some drawbacks are that it really needs the FMJ and the slugs to unlock its full potential, otherwise the basic ammo types are lackluster. The reload is slow and cumbersome and can be bad in the middle of a fight if you happen to run out of ammo, and the muzzle velocity is really slow. So if you're used to using long ammo all the time, and maybe don't use things like FMJ on windfields, for example, you may not be used to how slow the bullets travel. Moving on to the opinion section, while part of the next match plays in the background, I personally really love the Lamette Carbine. I know some of the reviews from other creators have been less than favorable on the weapon. However, I want everyone to keep one thing in mind. I do play on console, and the console meta is far more aggressive, largely comprised of shotguns and dualies, whereas, of course, the PC meta is largely dominated by long ammo. Up close is where the Lamette Carbine shines. Being able to swap between the modes, using FMJ to pierce cover and slugs for one-tap potential, really helps for seamless fights against up-close multiple targets, or even big server fights within a compound. Now, if you're comparing it to something like a Mosin or a Sparks fighting at 150 plus meters, of course that's an exchange you're going to lose. Now, I think that if that's the comparison you're trying to make, you're thinking about using the weapon the wrong way. I think with the Lamat Carbine, you really need to try and force compound fights and try and get up close and personal, be more aggressive in general. Easier said than done, especially on PC, but you need to think about rotations and positioning that allow you to manipulate your targets to move in closer. If you're trying to uh, compete with a Mosin, at, uh, you know, 175 meters, then good luck. <laughs> but otherwise, I think that if you're the aggressive type, then definitely give the carbine a spin, as it is just wonderful up close. With that being said, I do have more footage coming up of some of the other new weapons, as well as a discussion on the packs I'm trying to get footage of uh, more Infernal and Lunar gameplay. Um, it's a little harder to do because I think they shine more in team play than solo. Um, Infernal still has a lot of solo applications, but to really see Lunar shine, I really think you need to play in a group. So once I get all that comprised, I'll definitely be doing a review on the packed system, so look forward to that as well as some other cool things. Now I'm going to let this clip finish, 
But as for me, good hunting in the bayou, everybody. Good luck getting those event points. And I will see you all on the next video.